I help people realize that when you bring curiosity to change, it enables them to create a whole new reality. Hello, I am Andre Van Hall, the Curiosity Instigator. Change is not the enemy, but your resistance to it is. I'm not advocating change for change's sake, but I'm saying that if you are not being curious and you're not bringing change about, you or your company are beginning to die. Are you in the midst of a merger or an acquisition? Maybe you have a new boss or the corporate office has mandated a new procedure. You're resisting it because the bottom line is you don't like it. I suddenly lost my eyesight four years ago. It was something that happened within two weeks. I was the CEO of a 125 year old organization. And after losing my eyesight, I ended up also losing my job. It was a tough moment in my life. Change was upon me in a way that I had not asked for it. But the curiosity of my friends has made this such a significant change because they taught me about the opportunities that existed on how to be a blind man and continue to be successful. And it was that curiosity that they had that helped me transcend to the new me, the one that stands in front of you today and speaks about change. Because change is not about what has been. Change is about the possibilities that lay ahead. And it is analyzing the future, not the past, that is going to help you transcend to that new reality. While incremental change is vital, in today's world, that is just not enough. Ask BlackBerry, Kodak, Underwood typewriters, what incremental change has brought for them in this world of significant and disruptive change. What I wish to do is to discuss with your team and wake up in them the curiosity and get them out of the old thinking of if it isn't broken, don't fix it. I want them to understand that if it isn't broken, break it so that they can start with a new thinking. And I know that this makes you uncomfortable because I will be asking your staff to challenge the way you currently do things. But it is that process of challenging the way you currently think that is going to make it possible for you to be the disruptor rather than the victim of change. Allow me to speak to your team and I will help them understand in a lighthearted kind of way that change is not the enemy, but their attitude toward it is. I urge you, be curious when there is a problem. Don't stop at the first solution, at the first answer. Remade that mistake.